Okay, folks, I've built up the walls all the way for the first floor. And I've got the wall started for the kitchen. All right, bird, look. You got to get out of the house. Okay. You know what, let's, uh, I'll show you how I did this up here. So, switch to half wall, switch to half wall. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're facing different directions. See how the arrow is facing away from us? Uh, right there. Then when I place this metal one, I want to make sure it's on the one facing that's closer to us. Oh. Pick up. Come on. You can do it. All right, we'll just pick you up then. If you're not sure if you can get it to place correctly, easiest way to do it, just pick up the foundation. Then you leave it no choice. Actually, we picked the wrong foundation. We would pick up that foundation to make sure that it was facing the, the facing out. Uh, or you can hit Q and cycle through the different points. So we're going to make sure it's... Oh, again. Really? Come on. There we go. And then the way we place these rails up top is with double doors you can place uh, these. Those aren't the same. That isn't the same. So... Let's pick these up first because they're more expensive. Pick all these up. I know I don't have to do that, but it would bother me forever. Did those? Yeah. That's the same. Did that place the same? Yeah. Every time I walked by that, it would bother me. Now, the reason I'm putting this stone railing up here is just for variety. So that way you don't have that same. See how the, all that stone right there looks horrible? Uh, well, it don't, look, it don't look horrible. It just looks monotonous. Uh, but we're going to be putting the big industrial grill right there, so it's going to break up some of that stone. This is going to be our doorway into the kitchen area so we're not going to put anything there now these are going to be hard to place so we want it to be that same color there we go now we switch these the half walls and then you have your you look like that the reason I did all that is so that way I can build the stairs on that. So we want we want metal stairs. Uh, we could go with stone, but I'm mixing between metal and stone. Uh, normally I like building with wood and stone or adobe and stone. Uh, I also do like building with adobe and metal. Adobe and metal looks really good together stairs not these I don't like these uh, they glitch a lot I like the regular ones so we're, what we're really looking for is the ramp so let's uh craft we gotta go up at least four to get to the next floor we've got to build at least four of these at least in order to get to the next floor 
And so we may have to build some scaffolding in order to build the stairs. So we want this. I would rather not have the stairs come down right here because then you only have one gap to get through with creatures. And some creatures cannot get, fit through with one gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go there. Switch that to stone. And then we're going to try to build off of there. So what we need is we need uh, the metal floor. And then uh, these metal ramps. Now that's going to change our plans because we wanted to put the fabricator in the grinder right there. So that kind of changes the plans. I don't like that. So what can we do? What can we do? We could not put the replicator over here and just build the staircase over here. So we could have the forge over here. The replicator, we could build its own room later on. Because we, we're nowhere near getting the replicator just yet. <clears throat> and the problem is I got these triangles over here. And the stairs don't work good with the triangles. They don't like the triangles. So, like, see, if I do this here... Then you're going to have this gap sticking out over here. So, pick that up. Pick that up. Let's see, how could I do the stairs? I mean, I could do the stairs in a, out here. Like, completely outside. You just got to come through the kitchen. Go up the stairs. Uh, that could work. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that. Like I said, that could work. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'm going to figure this out, so I'll bring you guys back after I figure this out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to figure out how I want to do the stairs. For the, um, to get to the next level. Uh, because uh, we got to have a room for our bedroom. And, uh, so I'll bring you guys back when I figure out what I'm going to do with the stairs. I'm going to build some stuff, maybe tear some stuff down, uh, figure out what I'm going to do and then uh, we'll bring you guys back so ha -ha. and I have returned again okay I've got it figured out the stair the stairs we're going to use unfortunately it looks like I'm going to have to use the uh, spiral staircase uh, it's been so long since I've used these effectively uh, on the SS mod, you can actually disable the railing co collision, which makes the glitches a lot less. And so we're just going to... Now give us access to the second floor. Uh, this is going to be the ceiling for that. It's just going to be flat. So that way we can land flyers up here if we want. We're going to put rails along the edge. Um... So just run right up the spiral staircase into the second floor, which will be the bedroom and storage area. So I created it on this side, kept all the materials in my head of what I used so that way I could recreate it on the other side so you guys could see. So what we're going to need is we're going to need uh, 
six of these, two, three. That's not what I wanted. We need to pick that up. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Then we need these rails. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need some stone. Uh, some stone walls. This is the tricky part, trying to get it to snap to, trying to get it to snap to that rail right there and not that window, because I don't want to tear up that window. So I'm just hitting Q over and over, moving around, trying to get it to snap to it. This is the problem with building an arc. We want to go three high on the walls. Oh yeah, I can't fit through their tails. So... This is how it is in Ark. Uh, you're gonna find that you can't build the way you want to, what you have in your what you have in your head. The building doesn't quite let you do that sometimes. Like this, why is it? Why is it just not? Come on, it's obvious I want to build right here. But you, oh, was that it? There we go. Nope, that was not it. Oh. Let's see. Cycle through. There we go. Now. And one more, please. And then we want the metal rail on top of that. Switch to the model selector. Change these all to metal. Actually, I forgot. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this also I did put the doorway here so that way we could continue that banister around and also that metal lip up top so I want these facing out then uh, right there and then we need this one up there Switch to model. Now we need our stairs. Okay. Nope, that's not right. We want it to snap to that right there. So that way we can walk in, clear our head from the doorway like that. Then up here, we're actually going to snap the triangle ceilings, which we only have one of, so we gotta go get some more. Excuse me, fellas and lady. Metal. We need. All right, I need to craft some of these please so back inside excuse me tail of a beaver now up here you can snap it sometimes to the stairs see uh, right there would snap to the stairs we don't want that we're actually going to snap to and see it is going to create that little gap right there at the top but that's fine and then uh, here's where we're going to place our ceilings. And I'm going to need a lot more triangle ceilings. But I can get rid of these foundations. We won't be needing the foundations right now until we make uh, the greenhouse. Uh, so I can get rid of these foundations. And I need more metal ceilings. Uh, yeah, metal ceilings. What am I doing? triangles how many of these can I make all right I'm probably gonna need all 19 of those and then some so all 
All right. Now you want to put the shape uh, above it that is below it. And so right there we have triangle. This helps everything stay lined up. So that way when you get to place in ceilings, you don't have weird gaps that you can't fill. Uh, this happens to me sometimes when I'm building. And I forgot to mention, uh, watch where your ceilings snap to because now they're going to snap to either the wall or they will snap to these other ceilings. And the reason you want it to look, see like right there, that's the problem. See how we got the metal going different directions? I do not like that at all. That looks horrible. And so every time we would walk underneath that, it would trigger my OCD. I don't have OCD, but if I had it, that would definitely trigger it. Did we get it right? Nope. Uh, let's see if we can go up here and get it to place right. So we want the two tabs to be like that. Did it place right? I think so. We'll check. Yeah. So see how it's all going the same direction now? Uh, the triangle ones, thankfully, do not have uh, the metal railing. So you don't have to worry about it on that. Uh, they do have certain ways they face. And you can nitpick it. And, but that can drive you crazy too. Oh, I'm missing one. Missing one metal ceiling. <laughs> oh my. Metal ceiling, just just one right now, please. Now it's we're not gonna leave it flat like that. Uh, we are gonna create. We are gonna create a second floor up there, so uh, it won't be flat. Right here. Yeah, we want the metal running that way. And I need one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more triangles. So we need seven more of these. I guess I gotta put them in my inventory. That would help with us placing them, wouldn't it? And so now we've created quite a problem here. And I'll show you with a wall. Because now we've got two snap points right here on this. We've got the ceiling snap point, And right next to it, we've got the wall beneath it. So whenever we place walls up here, we're going to have to make sure that we are snapping to the correct point. Or otherwise, it's going to be uneven like that right there. So, I'm going to work on the second floor, but I'll bring you guys back for that. I won't make you endure that. <laughs> and also when I bring the walls up here to put the roof over this, this uh, uh, staircase what I'll have to do is the same thing because if I snap it to that ceiling right there then it's going to be different when I get it to over here and snap it to the um snap it to that right there see if I don't hit Q and snap it to the lower snap point which will be to the wall below it then it's going to look weird it won't be lined up so that's what we'll do. We'll just snap it to the lower snap points like that. Uh, we're going to actually make this too high. Um, actually, two and a half. 
and then we'll put a ceiling on it yeah like that right there and then we'll put what we'll do is we will put do I have any in my pocket I do not but I can pull to craft those they're stone okay and what we'll do is we will make sure that it's facing out um, out of the stairwell that is like that and then we'll place uh, a layer of metal rails along the top of that see I didn't line those these double doors snapped to the ceiling and not to the wall beneath it and that's why they're a different height up there uh, we don't want that when I build my main base like this one I want to make sure that everything looks good I mean I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this base and I don't want to be I don't want it to bother me the whole time that I'm in this base let's see yeah those those line up so model not, not map go away map I need the model gun okay switch those to metal and then what we will do at the top is we'll actually do like we did on our the entryway to our main base we'll have four we'll have six triangle sloped roofs that will go up at an angle and create a pinnacle right there so that way it creates a little tower for our staircase and you know what let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put that there uh, Go away, gun. I don't need you at the present moment. Put that there. Yeah, that might look good. If we just leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to work on this top ceiling. I mean, this top floor. Uh, finish this tower over here. Finish this ceiling tower over here. And then uh, we're going to have a balcony right here. Which I can go ahead and put. In fact, I don't know if I want... You know what? We'll do the balcony so that the shape below us is different from the shape above it. We'll go ahead and put uh, the balcony right there. Actually, that's not correct. Let me pick those up. Demo gun. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. The balcony will go here, 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 and then there, yeah, and then we'll put walls along here, and because we don't have uh, walls beneath this to support it, and so if we snap here, we don't have a lower snap point there. So what we'll probably have to do is go up, across, and then down. Uh, so that way we create the lower snap point. I'll have to show how I'm going to do that when we get to that point. Right here will be our balcony for our flyer when we're coming in. Land here. You know, go inside the bedroom. Put the stuff away. Um, but I'll bring you guys back when I have an, an outline or an idea of how I'm going to do this top floor. I, I definitely do not want the top floor to look exactly like the lower floor. Where did my flyer go? Oh, I punch. Well, I don't know where I punch is. So we're going to find him. Uh, what are you doing over here, dude? All right. Okay, so I do not want the second floor to look exactly like the first floor. Uh, so I'll bring you guys back when I have that done. Uh, this may end up being a long episode. Who knows? It's, I'm recording it in several parts, bringing you guys back and 
stuff like that. So, till I bring you back.